All right, guys, welcome to today's video. This one should be an exciting one for you guys. It is about an update to IPC Hammer. So for those that aren't familiar with it, IPC Hammer is a port of PCM Hammer that uh, Michael B. did, so that way we can use that to program our instrument clusters. So the previous versions only supported the 03 to 07 Classic. Well, now he's added support for the 99 to 02, so that's exciting. We have the test features for 99 to 02 and programming. On top of that, uh, he added what you need to be able to use one of these guys. So you might be looking at this at first going, well, it's just an inlay. What are you talking about? But it's 140 mile an hour, so the police package, but it goes to 7K RPM and has trans temp, and the police package never came with trans temp. And it's pretty impressive too, the work that Mike put into this, because uh, not only did he, you know, make it where we can program it, he actually figured out how to modify the configuration of the operating system to get all of this to work together, because it's not like he just entered a couple of things into the EEPROM to make it work. Some of the some of the years it actually took some modification of the operating system to make this work. So it's pretty cool. So we'll take a look at how to program that, which is on the 03 to 07. And we're gonna take a look at uh, just the test feature it has for the 99 to 02, because uh, these are two really big updates uh, that a lot of people have been asking for. At least the 99 to 02 support, a lot of people have been asking for it. And Mike took the time to make it. Okay guys, so if you want to buy one of those uh, inlays that I just showed. Uh, these are the guys that get them printed. They're, they're getting them printed from FDDDT. Just check out their website. You can find them under that name. Uh, he also sells that bench tester that you uh, always see me use on the channel. So yeah, give these guys uh, just a little check out if you're interested in getting one of those 140 mile an hour 7k RPM inlays. All right, so before we get started, first let's discuss where you even find this thing at. Um, so just Google uh, IPC Hammer and GitHub IPC Hammer, it'll show up. Uh, and then uh, to actually download it, go to releases and then you can download the release. So yeah, the latest release was four days ago. Just uh, download that zip and that's that's really all you, what you need. You'll just extract that and run it. Um, Windows 10 does prompt an error that it's from a unknown um, distributor. That's a common problem you'll have with uh, DIY software. Unless he's gonna pay for a certificate, you know, there's nothing you can really do about that. So uh, just just be aware, you know, it might pop up saying that this is possibly my malware or something. Uh, so far it's not. So just go ahead and uh, use that. And so let's actually take a look at it. So I got it opened up here. This uh, operating system query failed was me just checking to see if he had added the mileage correction yet to um, the 99 to 02s, which he has not. Um, so that's just one thing to be aware. So let's go ahead and try the read properties. Uh, okay, so the read properties is also trying to do the uh, 03 to 07 stuff. So you, you don't get a uh, valid response from that either. First, you have your, your modify options, which um, he's now enabled. The, the, the checkboxes actually do something now. Before, they were just there, and they, there was no labels for them. You didn't know what they did. Uh, but yeah, these are now labeled, so you know you can um, uncheck this to change it to a 5K, which would be your diesel um, versus 6K. Um, and then you got your uh, kilometers to miles change, trans temp and uh, 100 miles versus 120 miles an hour. So that would be your uh, Escalades have and Denali's have 120 mile an hour while your HDs and all that have 100 mile an hour. So uh, just, just kind of what, what you're looking at there. So just look at your inlay to make sure you check the right one when you program these things. Uh, so yeah, mileage correction hasn't been added yet for 9902, but you also have the test uh, instrument cluster. So this feature wipes all the gauges except for oil pressure and battery. Uh, it lights up all of those to verify they work and it should light up all of your air lights that it can control as well. So that's really what you get for 99 to 02 on here. Okay, so now I have set up the 03 to 07 style one. This one in particular is a 2006. Um, so let's take a look at what you have now with this. I'm not actually gonna program this one yet for that inlay. I'll do a special video just for doing this inlay. But yeah, this one's for the other style clusters. So I will do a video on that separate, which will be 
uh, using this circuit board here. But uh, so what what can we do now with these uh, with, with it? So we still have the same features where we can test it. And there we go, finished the test run on it. You have the stepper calibration and you have the modify option. So modify options, again, uh, this gives you those check boxes that let you know what you have. Checked equals no trans temp on here. We have trans temp, so we can see that that's working. Uh, and then this this one's specific for um, the 05 to 07, bit seven, and then checked is kilometers on checks miles and yep we have miles on there so that is correct so yeah these these are your different features that you have with um the checked options now and it explains what they are which is super useful uh in this adjust stepper calibration is used for because uh, some people have asked what's the point of that if you put one of these on here got it reassembled and you're doing your stuff in here and you notice hey I'm off by a little bit, you can actually just adjust it in software now. So you don't have to go take the needle off and set it right. You can just use the software to go ahead and define that, oh, hey, let's move it down a couple, let's just move this down a couple of steps and call it good to go. Okay, so then you have the read properties, which uh, that one actually works on here. It shows the VIN number that's on there, OS ID, um, the calibration ID, and the hardware ID. Um, so th those are really the useful ones there. So that way you can go, all right, let me save this calibration ID if you, if you needed to clone one for somebody. That way, uh, that way you just use that same calibration ID instead of having to pull the, the stuff off there and go, oh, I hope I got the right software version. So that way when people mail in an instrument cluster as a core and you're sending them another one in, um, you can use that calibration ID and OS ID to program that to make sure you have all the exact same features on their form. So super useful feature there. And with this one, we can do mileage correction. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and set that to 90,000. So one, two, three, four. We need a extra zero because it is uh, stored like that. So there we go. And now it should say, yep, 90,000. So uh, super easy to do your mileage correction with uh, the IPC hammer as well. So yeah, super, super useful software because it gives you your test feet sweeps for everything for your technicians that are repairing it. It gives you mileage correction and you can program the operating system and calibration on here. I have other videos where I show how to program the calibration, everything. And that is also where you're going to set that you have the 140 mile an hour uh, set up on there. So I will be doing videos on doing the 140 mile an hour setup with the 7k uh, But that will be its own uh, Individual video there. All right guys. I hope you guys like the video It's just a quick little one where I wanted to show what's new with IPC hammer So hopefully you guys liked it and learned something a uh, big thank you to Mike for writing IPC hammer and doing all the work with it. So I'm going to leave a link in the description again, like I've done in the past for both the GitHub link. And if you want to send him money on PayPal as a donation for all that hard work he's put into the software. So I hope you guys will check that out and I will see you in the next one.